Hi everyone, welcome back to Project Reactor Essentials. In this video, we will talk about uh, intervals. How can we schedule something to be published every uh, predefined time? So I will copy this uh, signature and I will call this one Flux Subscriber Interval. Interval, uh, I will call one. So let me just scroll down a little bit. Okay, so imagine the scenario where you have something that you would like to be published every and then duration of millis every 100 seconds. So let's create a simple flux here. Let's call this flux interval. And now let's subscribe to this interval. Interval dot subscribe. And let's say we would like to publish or just log this message. So in this case, uh, this publisher, every 100 milliseconds, will publish a number starting uh, from zero and then while the thread is alive. Okay, so let's execute. And as you can see, we don't have anything. And why is that? because this is something that's going to block your thread. So the guys from Reactor, they are smart and they decided to have this interval running on a background thread. If you want to see the result, just add the thread.slip and you can add, uh, for example, three seconds. And let's add here, froze exception because of that slip. And you will see now that uh, every 100 milliseconds you will get things published until the, the main thread dies. So here we are making the main thread slip, but if you are running this on a web server, that would be running forever while that server is uh, up and running. Now let's imagine that you would like to only take a specific number of elements of this interval. So we have this take and you can take it, uh, for example, I would like to take only 10 elements. And when you run, you will see after 10, it will just stop. So 0 to 9, 10. And then it will wait until that thread dies. So in this case, we will need to cancel this subscription. Now, how do we test this? So testing this is a bit more complicated. It's not as simple as just creating a test we have to create a virtual time because, well, 100 milliseconds is pretty easy, but imagine that you have uh, something that runs every day. So you don't want to wait a test uh, for a day to get the results. So let's copy this one and let's call this two. And uh, let's remove this uh, subscribe. Well, there is one restriction. What we are going to use is the virtual time. And this virtual time has as prior requisite of the virtual time feature that the whole flux should be constructed inside the supplier of this uh, web virtual time. Because otherwise there is no way to install the, the proper scheduler and ensure all scheduling operators are going to use it. So since this is a limitation from the, the reactor itself, we have to, we cannot use something like this. So this will not work. So if you just try to have this, you will get scheduler exception. So for example, let's just uh, verify complete here. So you see, if we try to execute this, we get this scheduler unavailable. So we have to create this inside uh, this supplier. Now, how can we do that? Pretty simple. We just have to extract this into a method and we can uh, create interval. And we are going to return. Uh, let's not replace this one because I'm going to change here. I would like this um, interval to be running every day. So of days one. So this means I will remove the take that every day it will print one number starting with zero. Now I will remove this one and we are going to test here. 
So the first thing we could use method reference here, this create interval. And now it comes the thing. Well, we have to, uh, we are expecting the, the subscription and then we would like to wait for how long? Well, for the time that we are uh, starting here. So for example, I would like this to wait of uh, not seconds, days, one day. And after one day, I expect the next value being published by this uh, flux to be zero. Long. What happens if, let's start with two days. I want to show you something. And after I get this, well, I would like to cancel. And then just verify. Now let's see. I'm executing. As you can see, I have zero and one, so I didn't have to wait one day, obviously, and then it canceled. So it means that we are getting what we are expecting. But what happens if I change this to one? I'm saying that I'm expecting zero and one. You will see that this test will not end. So on next, we'll keep waiting for the next one. So this is a problem. How do we fix this problem? Well, we just call it then I'll wait again. And now we have number one. So, and what if you would like to make sure that nothing is uh, being published before one day? Well, here at the after the expect subscription, we can create one expect no event. And we can say, hey, I am not expect any events. Let's say, for example, hours in 24 hours. So exactly 24 hours, I think it will consider that it was not published. Yeah. But if you try, for example, 25 hours, you will see that it will fail because something was published. So that's why uh, if you want to make sure that uh, nothing's happening before one day, just use this expect no event. And you can also use here, of course, of days one to make sure that nothing's being uh, published no event is being emitted before one day and then you wait and then you expect this value and you keep you can keep going so this is the interval remember interval it runs in a different thread so right here coming back again you will see that we have the main thread but we have the this one running on parallel one. That's enough for this video. See you in the next one. Bye.